Hi, I'm Drew, Application Engineer with SKF. This video will show you how to run a test with your AWA. So I'm going to initiate a, an auto test by hitting the red run auto test button. And we'll attach the low voltage resistance leads. And then this is where we would cut to the yep. low voltage leads we'll film later. And then to start the test, initiate by the mega ohm lead 3. And that'll bring up in the temperature resistance test screen. First thing it's asking us for is to enter the temperature of the stator, uh, make sure our units are correct, and then we make a measurement of the stator temperature and enter it here, and then hit accept. And that will initiate the low voltage resistance measurement, and we'll see the resistance uh, values start to populate here. It should settle fairly quickly. Uh, if it oscillates during the test, there may be an indications of induced voltage or rotating rotor. Uh, the temperature corrected resistance is populated based on the temperature that we entered earlier. Okay, and now it's doing two to three, and now it's moving on to lead three to one. So the three independent measurements that are taken, it's going to calculate the difference in resistance uh, as a percentage. It's going to use this particular equation that you see here to calculate this uh, resistive imbalance, in this case a 2.53% resistive imbalance. And now again, we'll follow the directions on the screen. We'll disconnect the low voltage resistance leads, um, and attach the high voltage leads. And now that we've done that, we'll press OK to continue uh, testing. Yep. All right. So for the AWA, in this case the 4KV and 2KV testers, we have uh, different resistance leads. And hook the resistance leads up in a horizontal orientation. All right, when conducting a uh, low voltage resistance test with an AWA 2KV or 4KV tester, we only have the two resistance leads. So to demonstrate that, we still have to enter the temperature manually. Again, remember to keep uh, an eye on that units. If you want to enter in degrees C, make sure you're entering your Celsius temperature. Uh, if for some reason you need to change it to Fahrenheit, you can just click it and it'll automatically convert. Once the temperature is accepted, it'll automatically um, start making the first measurement between leads one and two. So when you hook up the low voltage leads initially, make sure you hook them up leads one and two. Now it will tell you to move the resistance clips to leads two and three. So we'll go ahead and make that move. And then when we're ready, we click OK to continue and then it will proceed with the lead two, lead three resistance measurement. And then again, upon completion of the second test, it will ask us to move the leads one last time, in this case to leads three and one, and click OK to continue once that's done. And now we'll make the last measurement and calculate the delta, delta R, just like the other tester. 